And we're back with more L.A. Noir. The Gas Man. It's been some time since we've done done an L.A. Noir episode. I know it's been it's been a little bit, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. I really hope this Gas Man has his own theme song. I'm afraid not. But Ever since the last episode of L.A. Noir, we were demoted down to arson, so it makes sense that we're going to be seeing an arson at work here. Blow some shit up. Set things yeah, on fire. Do it. It already happened. Oh, well. <laughs> we join a disgraced okay, Cole Phelps already in process. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> I thought they were about to, like, badmouth you right in front of everybody. They are. Phelps is up okay, a I spoke too soon. December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. So we got did, demoted, do, Phelps. and we're probably going to get fired at the end of the man. year, pretty much. If you fuck up on oh, my detail, so I'll that's how this game ends. We ground. just get fired, we live alone, and then we, we probably right are just very phone. sad. Phelps. Yeah, Tilden. Because we thought it was a good idea to spend the night with a German lounge singer. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. What a crock of shit. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. Because they're all burnt up. <laughs> House fires. You ever heard of a game called You Have to Burn the Rope? No, is that like an iPhone game? No, well, I think, but it's just a simple, like, 30-second game. You have to burn the rope. Like, you go through some stuff, and you burn a rope, and that's the end. Oh, okay. There's a nice song at the end about how you had to burn the rope. Everything you did in that epic game. Anyway, burn the we got... We got two house fires. We got a new partner, Biggs. I kind of like Biggs. He's all right. I don't like my dickhole captain, though. <clears throat> Look at him ignoring me, trying to be cool. Whatever. Anyway, even though I'm in big trouble for all of the bad dwags I did and the sexings with the German weighty. <laughs> That, that I'm a... <laughs> kind of is what it feels like, is just like you being wrapped on the hand with a ruler. It's like, naughty Phelps. Yeah, well, still, there's cases to be solved, and there's perps we gotta arrest. <laughs> okay. Business as usual, except we feel really bad about ourselves. So, uh, like I said, it's been some time since Ellie Noir, and, uh, and I know that Roy betrayed me and ruined my entire life, perhaps. I'm down now to a freaking garbage heap. <laughs> I'm a little bitter. Uh huh. Just a little. Just a little. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a little uh, embittered by his actions, and uh, uh, people have been telling me that I've been taking it out very very unhealthily on a lot of innocent people. You know, people who I care about and all that. And uh, you know, I've 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 been getting better really, and uh, you know, I've I've been finding other healthier ways to control my aggression about uh, how much Roy Earl hurt me, and, uh, and, and I'm doing it in very, very healthy and uh, uh, very, very safe ways. I wonder if your psychiatrist has to use hypnotism just to get a proper sentence out of you. Though I'm still in hypnosis over uh, something. Cole? Yeah. Cole! Br s snap out of it! Cole! Anyway, my point is, I'm going to be roughing up a lot of cars, because <laughs> it really doesn't matter anymore. Are we still working towards that achievement, by the way? Yeah, we are. Okay. Oh! Jesus, that one hurt the most. I'm kind of gauging how much de destruction I have to unleash in order for it to happen. You're going to have hey, to go through a lot of cars. You know, it's been a while. I'm going to take this dispatch call. All right. Cool. Dispatch on your first day of arson. Yeah, why not? I mean, the house is already burned down. I mean, they're not in any big hurry, really. Still going to be burned in a couple of minutes, you know, or however long it takes. 
sure, go ahead and take my car and my husband, please. <laughs> All right, let's make our way down. There. God, can you imagine what Biggs is thinking right now? It's like, what the fuck, Phelps? What are you doing? <laughs> It's like, no, don't worry, I'm just releasing some, uh, pen- Whoa, that was a car. Releasing some, uh, pent-up emotions here. Alright, let's look at the map and see how far this dispatch call is. Eh, well, that's pretty far away, to be honest. Well, let's go for it anyway. Really? Okay. Yeah, why not? You know, the further we have to go, the more opportunities we have to get that vehicle destruction achievement and all ah, that. Ah, yes. Maybe that's how you get it. By the way, are we on disc three yet? Yeah, we were on disc three. So the last hurrah of Cole Phelps and L.A. Noir itself. Uh, we got this case and then the final five cases, including the uh, D the one last DLC there is. Oh, wow. You're really starting to annoy. So not much left of the game left, and I kind of wish that arson wasn't the end. It was kind of like you know, sort of the midway point, you know? Like a build-up. Yeah, because uh, when you told me what desks we were going to be going through, it was, uh, let's see, we were detective, then we went to homicide, then we went to what vice. Was it? vice. And now arson. It just seems it's almost like it's a hill you're making. It's like going up and then going right back down. It feels like it should have been more, like, progression. Like, I think it should have ended with me being fucking commissioner or something. <laughs> commissioner Phelps. But no, it's a crime drama, so we gotta fucking... Oh, it's his downward spiral because he... Spent time... Yeah, there's a police scandal behind it, and... Oh, oh. I, I was just thinking. Yeah, what if you did become commissioner, and all the people you put away in jail, you got to decide whether they lived or died at the end of the game? Well, that would be a game called This is the Police. That exists? Yeah. Oh. Well. Kind of, you know. You gotta make tough choices like that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm glad that uh, Biggs decided to drive us to where the dispatch call is happening. Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? Two guys made off with about a grand in a paper sack. Oof. says he saw him leave. I'm right here, you know. Not much of a witness. Sir, you need to tell us where they went. Now. Hey, are you the cop that had the scandal? Oh, he knows where the criminals went, but he doesn't know where a shower is. Well, I mean, he's just doing his civic duty. Oh, great. Car chase. Yep, car chase time. Hooray. That's a really nice car, too. This is going to be kind of tough, actually. Don't do it. Just think of the property damage that you are going to end up doing. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Yeah, there's no way you're hitting them, big guy. You just about, like, grinded his head into a stump. That would have been his fault. Well. Come on. It's right in front of you! What are you talking about? This is the, what, fourth time we've had a partner that just complains the entire time about your driving? Come on, they should know by now. Oh yeah, Cole Phelps uses his badge to justify stealing people's cars and destroying the entire city and oh, running Jesus. people over. You know, people's spines are lodged in his radiators. But no. I spend one night with one German lady, and they think that I'm a, I'm a, uh, fuck, you know, high treasonous, Benedict Arnold type fucking nonsense. But no, Th you that know, is kind of funny that your highest misdemeanor is just being an adulterer. I think I've killed people. I have killed a lot of people. You have. You have murdered a lot of people, civilians or otherwise. I am Become Death, Destroyer of Los Angeles. And yet, you did a naughty no-no with a German weighty. Oh, yes. A naughty no-no with a German weighty. Ah. Uh, 
Oh god, now I can't get the image of Elmer Fudd as Cole Phelps. No. You are under a west! You wascoey wabbits. <laughs> so wait, they went off the ramp and destroyed themselves? Yeah, I guess their car couldn't handle it because we shot it up and bumped into it so many times. That's awesome. I would laugh if they put the bum in there too, just so we could get a hot shower. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get a hazmat suit for that. <laughs> Some special spray, just to make sure he doesn't have like any ticks you know or way. lice or anything drive. like that. So, I feel I feel good. I I think I'm back in the seat now. I feel <laughs> like I've I've warmed up pretty good. Let's get to solving those arson cases now. You sound so down, you DJ. What's wrong? Eh, because it's arson. Well, you get to play with fire. No, fire has already happened. All we get to do is just kind of go through the ashes and go, uh, Yup, there was a fire here. God, that sounds boring. <laughs> uh, why did they save this for last? Now I see what you mean. There isn't much left. There never is. The job's done properly. Well, there is. There isn't much left. We're on the last nah, disc. That's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. So, no offense, Biggs no. is pretty all right nothing. because... Again, you because we did a naughty, but naughty bad bad night. with the German Wadey. Everyone thinks that we're a piece of shit. It's like the only thing we ever won in our I think that we're, we're some communist <laughs> bastard or who they hides behind the badge or whatever, you know, know all sure. that. Blah, blah, blah. blah. But what Biggs does is he says, hey, come on, he's still a cop just doing his job, you know, don't worry about that shit, you know, he's, he's fine, whatever. He's actually... In the kind of almost halfway Taylor decent. It's a guy. Take a look around. Come on, Phelps. So, finally, we have a partner that's not a not exactly a piece of shit. Well, he's a he's the most pleasant smelling piece of shit. We'll say. Gotcha. But he's well, a piece of shit because he's a, he's been an arson for so long, and you know he's always worked alone and all that shit because this is heavy shit we're doing here. Could be something well, come. I was about to say, what happens if we become the partner that's a piece of shit? And all of a sudden, the story's about Biggs. That was the one clue in this entire place! Are you kidding me? That was it! There's nothing here! <laughs> what next? Well, yeah, it all burned up! What, what, what does this game expect? So I guess... The, the Ooh, loading. Most lo it's the most logical thing to do. Is just talk to the family, right? Mr. Stevens, Cole Phelps, and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens, you were out of town. Hey, I heard of you. I heard you had a little wawa with the drama lady. <laughs> You know, my entire house burned down and all my possessions, but you being in front of me is the worst thing that's happened all year. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. I, I s still love this misdemeanor being the worst thing in L.A. It's like, Can see that guy? He's a serial murderer. About 30 I mean, under his belt, but you! I mean, you ran over my daughter and two of my brothers, but... You disgust me for doing drugs with the German lady. You adulterer. Just put a scarlet, you know, letter right on Cole's shoulder there. Yeah. Give him the scarlet A. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They so basically, the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. The one suspicious but thing to get from this them. is that the suburban redevelopment fund, which is what's causing these, you know, uh, newer houses to sprout up around the outskirts of uh, L.A., mm -hmm. I thought I could hold out invited 
these homeowners to like a free cruise or whatever. Oh. Hmm. Get them out of the house so they can burn it down. Yeah. All right. Whoa, that was weird. Is, is the game slowly dying? I guess he's thinking It's burning up, really. searching for some kind of atonement, right? I mean, Jesus. I know a lot of effort isn't put into the like last leg of games sometimes. But man, come on. Oh, please tell me, can I take the fire truck? Please, please, please. I want the fire truck. Ah! No, no fire truck for Cole Phelps, the bad man. That's only for true patriots. <laughs> only for true patriots. You know what? I I kind of want to see some Metal Gear Solid up in this bitch. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, the oh patriots! God, they know! Jeez. Ah! Uh, uh, lo 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 Okay. All right, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, and, and, and yes, well, uh, uh, I need to use the phone. <laughs> oh God! Uh, don't, don't wait uh, up, Biggs. Next, I really want to see Cole Phelps like pull out the literal finger guns and just start shooting cars, and they just stop working. <laughs> How could I help, detective? You loser. I need information on the suburban redevelopment. God, even the people over the phone hate me. She doesn't get paid enough to hate. So she gets so she works for free is what you're saying? The fact that she nothings you is what hurts more. Like she doesn't even know or care that you're dog shit right now. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks for your help. And by the way, didn't you recently just do hey? Anyway, back at the job, I guess. I get no recommendation for this either. Because everyone's going to assume that I just, you know, shot myself instead of actually solved the case. <laughs> your, your boss is just sitting there thinking, you know what, if he never came back, good. Son of a bitch. And then, of course, he gets like 10,000 reports of property damage because of one rogue cop who did a natty, natty, not, what? A naughty, nasty. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. I drive backwards for fun. And you're doing really good, by the way. Well, thanks. Apparently, cars just don't Damn. load when you're driving backwards. So I drive backwards for fun. I destroy so many people's lives with whatever I end up driving. Yes. Yeah. And yet, because oh, I couldn't keep my dick in my wife, all that's going away. I mean, adultery is wrong and all that, and you should never ever do it, but... I'm just saying it's not the worst thing that Cole Phelps has done in this series. I mean, I think the only demeanor, minor misdemeanor that you could do that would be worse than this is if you came out and said, By the way, I'm a Nazi! <laughs> I'm a gay Nazi! <laughs> I'm an oxymoron. Wait, what? Funny, the human desire for self-preservation. What? I hit that guy, and he was reacting to that. He was reacting sarcastically. Oh god, so many people. So, so he's got a point. Yeah, I mean, they hate me right now. The people of Los Angeles despise me right now. So it's either them or me. Hey, wait a minute, didn't you steal my car last week? God damn it! They see you coming. <laughs> All right, let's make our way to the to uh, the second burned house. Yeah, I see the smoke in the, in the background there, that's cool. Off into the distance, you see a cloud of smoke. Son of the building is still burning. Phelps, get over there, quick! It is. Still smoldering. This one's slightly worse. <laughs> and then you just drive straight through it like an asshole. This time we got fatalities. Oh no. Hi, Albert. 
We've caught this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four. Family Welcome of to the netherworld of arson. It burning, 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 burning up in here. Four people are dead, dude. Get excited, oh, get sorry. Show, show some respect for those unrendered zeros and ones. Okay. Well, I mean, it seems the game is burning down at the seams with every arson. <laughs> so, I'm not too... Like, can we please do something else other than look at burning wow. houses? This is the only burning house we have left to look at, out. because oh, now we're going to see now. if we can find what, what, what similarities there are. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Well, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything Eesh. more exact. So a nightly burning, but they were poisoned, and then the house was set on fire. Carbon monoxide poisoning kind of happens when you're in a fire. Oh, that's true. You care to elucidate, detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. That face. I love that face. <laughs> But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, that's coroner. I'd say that's firm but fair. That's also what the German lady would say. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen! Yeah, we can't even look at the bodies because that's not, that's not our job. Our job is to look at the burned house and see if we can find what similarities there are. Like the fact that both of these houses use insta heat. Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Would you forget how to do your job, you Phelps? Around. Come on. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They want a trip somewhere. <gasps> but little Henry got uh -huh. sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel. Up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. So we got Gulliver's Travel, and a uh, really good lead, actually. Yeah, both that of these was houses. Surprising. He yeah. likes fire. Both of these houses had the same vacation up. Hurry, you can still catch up. Wait, what happened? This guy just started running. He must have been following us. Stop, LAPD. Fortunately, he's very <laughs> slow. He just knocked over that waiter. What a dickhead. <laughs> I told him to get out of the way. Oh. Well. Loading. We got him. That was anticlimactic. It's all burning to cinders. Herbert Chapman. So you like fires. I don't want any trouble. I mean, who changed it, Mr. Phelps? You're not in fire, aren't you? Oh. I keep myself to myself. Okay. Call me, cigarette you know, uneducated about this. Six minute delay. You want but more time, isn't that you just a cigarette in a box of matches? Don't yes. You, Herbert. You like this fire, Herbert. Do, Hell no. do we not like cigarettes? Or The idea is that... You have an accelerant over what you want to burn down, like gasoline or whatever. And then you set the book of matches down with the cigarette. You light the cigarette, the cigarette burns down, the cigarette lets fire to the matches, a big old fire ensues, and you're already long gone by the time it's happened. It is murder, it's almost Oh a chain reaction. Yes. I think it's but they're saying you should use a mosquito like coil, like, you know, one of those things you light up and it unleashes those, to be a you know, vapors and oils that's supposed to keep mosquitoes away, but never fucking work. Give it up. You'll feel that gets you even There's more time. I know hmm. What are you talking about? So you could be I'm long gone and, and then the fire insurance. happens. Mm -hmm. You could be long gone making your own alibi happen by the time the fire even started. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. 
But the one thing that Biggs is, you know, a little bit of a piece of shit about is that he doesn't believe in this. So, he believes in you when other people are in the room, but as soon as it's just you and him, it's just, yeah, you're a piece of shit, Phelps. He doesn't want people, like, talking bad about me or whatever. Like, you know, hey, he's, he, he's just a guy, but he's also saying, you're just, you're just a guy. There's, you know, this is just, you know, it's arson, there's nothing we can do about it, it's already happened. Just, you know, lie over and die like the dog you are, I guess. I guess. <laughs> All right. So where are we going first? We should oh. go to hmm. the travel agency and ask them about this little uh, getaway that they've won. Yeah, I I've been trying to think on how that would work. I mean, unless this place... See, the scenario in my head is you get a bunch of people, you get a free trip, go away for that trip, turn out the trip is a hoax, you come back and all your houses are burned down. Unless that travel agency has a way to collect the insurance money from those burned houses, how do they benefit? Well, uh, that's one of the things you're going to find out, I suppose. Maybe they took out a major insurance policy, or maybe that's going to be the start of an overarching, you know, hmm. case that's going to be built. Out of the car, sir. Because now we're getting onto something really big. Yeah, unless the travel agency is like the sister company to the insurance company and they're sharing the big claims, it's the only thing I can think of. Classic well, case, open and closed, done. Well, let's see if I can move between the spaces between spaces. See if I can get there any faster. Ooh, hot dogs. Oh, good. I think the deadpan in your voice and Tiffany's recording kidding. really helps with that. Oh, hot dogs. Yes, I mean, it's difficult to feel elated when you're working on arson, of course. Yeah. LAPD, police emergency. Is this a police officer? Yeah, it is. You just ran into my car, asshole. I like this car. It looks good and fast. Do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Good acceleration. This is a nice, fast moving car. Oh, God. Son of a bitch! <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Yep. No! You were right on it being fast. And if the thing is, it's not very sturdy. I can already hear the clicking of death. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on its way out. Isn't that how most sports cars are, though? Like, they're nice and fast. They don't last for beans. Especially if it's a nice bright red sports car, which cops immediately spot on the highway. Mm-hmm. That's kind of clever, actually. I, I like that thing. Yeah, that is nice. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. So, uh, I guess when they said they wanted a plain storefront, that's not what they meant. Recently won a competition run by you can just see Gulliver's Travels Agency looks and goes, uh, You know, that's. You know what, whatever. I can turn it into a play on words. Alright. Let's see here. Looking at all the stuff here. Oh, this is all the people who've won something on this travel agency. Oh, let's see. Uh huh. Hmm. All right, so we're looking for the people whose house is burned down. We're looking for the Sawyer, uh, Sawyer right there. Who canceled. And up a little more, we get to Stephens. Stephens. Yeah, let's ask him what he knows about it. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. <laughs> so what was that? <laughs> so a little shimmy shake in my seat here. <clears throat> don't usually get involved in promotions. So we were doing a lot of really fun stuff in homicide and vice and even traffic, but <laughs> I don't know, but now man. we're just here collecting Look, info on arson. <laughs> 
one time. Uh, pulled out of a hat? I guess in the the idea of reading faces and connecting things, While the Sawyer it's ramping up in difficulty. Island, their house but in terms of you flow, we've put on the drag shoots. Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Uh, that was, uh, Jared Von Murder Arson. Sort of He's a good guy. I knew it. We've been following him for eight years. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who's won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I yeah, start a charity for the family who lost their hats and lost everything. I could tell mm -hmm. you, and you can, you could donate fifty dollars. Are you good man, Cunningham? You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. It's fifty dollars. But then again, it's time like, period. It's like a hundred and fifty now. 